Murphy steps into that back line next to Mac Miazga, moving Miles Robinson to that right-hand side, but everything else stays the same in this front line. And a big reason for that is not changing the lineup much. This one stays unchanged. Maxum Bombito have been fantastic in front of Zach Steffen. That's the opening whistle from Sergey Boyko, and we're underway inside of TQL Stadium on a beautiful night in Cincinnati. So here is the 25-year-old U.S. international to deliver the game's first corner. Near post ball and headed up and over the bar. Rosenberry and Bombito both in the area, but it was the Colorado captain that had the best look at it. After a couple of losses and a draw leading up to that match. Oriano now working inside. Kubo, chance from long distance, and Zach Steffen will smother it in goal for Colorado. Cabral should be able to keep it alive, and he does. Wide for Mihailovic, number still forward now. Great ball into the back post and once again headed away. Bounce it, looking for the corner. It's off the post. And a loose ball finally cleaned up there by Ian Murphy. Long switch for Luciano Acosta. This is where he's the most dangerous, trying to play into some space. Tripped up for the moment, still alive for the Argentine. And long distance will go just wide. We can put the game on his shoulders in big moments as well. You just want to see it more consistent like he's doing right here, right now. Here he is on the ball, finding some space, looking for the corner, and he sends it just wide of the near pose. Direct ball forward, looking for Kubo. Out in front. Maxu thought that Zach Steffen was going to come, and he stayed home on his six. Good vision to find Acosta. Skates away from the first bit of pressure. Inside here for Kubo. Stefan off his line. The follow-up chance. And it's off the crossbar. What that contact is. But look at this. Ability to round the corner. Kubo into a good spot. Just the weight of that ball. Nearly perfect. But Zach Stefan there first. He's got to clean that up from the first touch. But he definitely got a boot. Into the head. Two teams that finished the top of the Eastern Conference a year ago. In fact, one two in the Supporter Shield race as well. Cincinnati back doing what they do. Nice little one two. Acosta! The moment happens that quick in transition, and the MVP delivers. Because again, one touch, two touch, lays it off. Keeps his balance, slots it to the back post. A phenomenal finish, and you see how quickly they transition. Improved tremendously this season. That one wasn't great. Acosta, tons of space over there on that side. This is Halsey dipping the shoulder, and Stefan has to come up with the save. Cleared away by Bombito from the edge of the six, but not out of danger yet. One more time for the goal scorer. To be unselfish, Bombito, though, read it perfectly. Nice touch. Mihailovic trying to spring Harris. Harris looking for options. That'll roll all the way through to the far side. Navajo! Big save from Can and no second chance opportunity for visiting Colorado. Can you be thinking about other things? Can you think about the next step, the next play? Acosta back the other way. Kubo, who big save from Stefan Maxu has to clear. On MLS season pass. All started with Austin's 2 nothing win earlier in the day against the Galaxy. Here is Baird. The little chip, and Corey Baird tallies his first. Just a cheeky little flick over Zach Steffen. Tough angle to go with power. Just waits for Zach Steffen to lay out. And Oriana with the phenomenal ball, well weighted. And Corey Baird, that's just a class finish. You look again from this tight angle. Not a lot of options, really. Unorganized defense. Communication's not there. One pass breaks you down, and now the gap gets even bigger. Heath, honestly, though, that's actually how the goal came in the first half, too, right? Colorado pressed up, trying to look for something. Good exchange right here. And counts to make it three. Out in front, and they do. The offside flag is up. The offside flag is up on the far side against Yuya Kubo. If that flag didn't go up, there was likely to be a handball as well off of Yaya Kubo as he was trying to catch his balance in the box to get around Zach Steffen. But when you're a defender, you see him go to the ground here. 
off of his the back of his hand. And it looks like they're going to go to VAR just to confirm it. And I think that's a, you, you were spot on. Pretty clear view right there. Yuya Kubo with the left hand. Here we go. Let's listen in. After the deal, number seven, committed handball offense. Prior to the goal, he was open side position. So final decision, no goal, by a free kick. They haven't had a whole lot here in the second half to offer in terms of being a threat, but you can use moments like this to maybe quiet the crowd and get yourself back into it with some positive attacks. And a ton of time still left here in the second half. Fifth corner on the night for visiting Colorado. Mihailovic to deliver to the penalty spot. Headed into the corner, Moise Bombito! He scored on his birthday a month ago for his first ever MLS goal. Scratch that, it's Darren Yappy, my fault. No, it is Bombito. Yappy grabbed it out of the net, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, Yappy clearly recognizing there's time on the clock. The young striker wants to get that ball out of the net, back to the half line, kick it off so they can try to get themselves a second goal. But phenomenal finish from Moise Bombito, who continues to rise in his abilities. You know, you mentioned players getting a consistent run of starts. He's another player that hasn't had that many starts in a row with Colorado. Colorado. Mihailovic trying to send it right back in to the heart of the FC Cincinnati area. Bupenza, fresh legs, just stepped on. Going to pull the trigger from distance over the head of Zach Steffen, but not quite enough air underneath it. That came up. Do you keep it here for FC Cincinnati, or do you try and find a third and put the game away and good night? Yamil Assad from long distance. Big save from Zach Steffen. Excellent goalkeeping from the 29-year-old. And it's their fifth win of 2023. That man, Corey Baird, a former MLS Rookie of the Year. And he scores for the first time in an FC Cincinnati shirt.